Hey guys, this is my next review of Superman comic books. Um, this one's rare because this comic book, Superman Last Son of Krypton, was actually also associated with Richard Donner. And Richard Donner also helped direct the first Superman film that starred Christopher Reeves. Um, I'm also a really big fan of that film. And this is what makes this film... Uh, comic book so special and spectacular is because Richard Donner also comes in and helps make uh, a two-part story to this comic book and it's so great awesome I love uh, Richard Donner I respect his work particularly with the Superman film and even this because he's done a great job and it also is done by Geoff Jones Adam Kerber and Gary Frank I also thank them for working with uh, Richard Donner to make a great comic book uh, so this is a two parts uh, store issue main issue uh, that has just come in together in a collected edition into Superman the Last Son of Krypton the first part deals with Superman and General Zod I'm not going to go into too depth about uh, the story between how General Zod comes back into the Phantom Zone. I mean, how General Zod comes out of the Phantom Zone and goes back to Earth to kick Superman's butt and get vengeance. But one thing that's really interesting in the story with General Zod is that, unfortunately, there is a mysterious Kryptonian kid uh, who comes out of nowhere and Superman... Uh, has no choice but to raise him on his own because he's Kryptonian. He has superpowers just like him, himself. Uh, Superman has, uh, obviously that Kryptonian kid has nowhere to go because he's different just like Superman when he was a kid. Uh, he decides, Superman, Clark Kent, if you want to, if you could say, uh, decides to raise, um, that, that kid alone by himself. And, uh, we know a lot more about where the kid came from. I'm not going to tell you who the kid really is, where the kid, who's, like, who the parents of the kid really are. But that's something for you to figure out. Uh, it's implied with General Zod. Um, I think that this part, the first part was pretty awesome. The second part, which is more exciting, actually deals with a brainiac. And in that part, you see Supergirl and Superman working together to stop Brainiac. Uh, I love the arc of Brainiac, how he was introduced to fighting and stuff. Uh, the art is actually spectacular. If you look at the back, um, uh, I think this is a quote by uh, Richard Donner. It simply states, and the hope we had for our future can be shared with the people of Earth by you, the last son of Krypton. Uh, and also by Washington Post, just to let you guys know how great the Washington Post actually thinks of Superman. And they say, Donner, who directed Christopher Reeve in the classic first Superman movie, shows the same depth touch as a writer when it comes to giving the hero all to human longings. I really like this uh, story because it just shows Superman when he's like in his mid-40s now. And uh, he knows everything about On Earth. Uh, he's like a gentleman now. He knows, uh, he's a matured, uh, grown man. He knows, like, everything, uh, that his parents taught him. Uh, also, and I'm not going to go too, uh, far in, um, what happens in the arc with Brainiac, but we see Jonathan Cannon Superman, uh, in a conversation which is re rather just touching and amazing you know because like it shows how jonathan can actually raise superman the kind of uh person that he wanted his stepson to be um so overall uh how i recommend this book i say get it it is awesome one through ten i give this comic book a 10 because it's like really mature only because Richard Donner was also in this and he's a guy who we should be respecting because he also made the first film which was also great also um a model for other superhero films to follow um so I I just think that 
it's purely spectacular. Uh, I highly recommend this book to anyone. It is fun, amazing. Check it out. Um, yeah, peace.